Bar Time by Rhino Bucket. CBT Guitar Lesson for Art. Art, how you doing? And everybody, welcome to the channel. Take a second, subscribe if you haven't. And then click the notification bell so you get uh, all the videos. So, um, Art, we've got flat tuning on this, so a half step down. Four pages of tabs. Um, I like this band, man. They've definitely got that hard rock ACDC thing going on. No reverb on the amp, just straight chords, distortion. 3E, we're going to bend it into an A5 power chord. That's open A and 2D. Stop it from ringing. Most of these are stopped from ringing. All of them, I think. Uh, then the what I call the rock G. 3E, muted A, 3B, and 3E. And uh, so the only thing you're not hearing is the muted A string. You'll hear the open D and G with that. Two times, staccato, choppy. Into a D, open D, 2G, 3B. Now the cool thing here is, third finger shares that D note. So if you want, you know, I know it's like tongue twister-ish, so, you know. Sometimes you just want to lift up and reset. But this is a common chord progression. Um, I practice just doing this, okay? Uh, once you hit that once, back to the G twice, then you go back to the A power chord, and then if you listen close, you'll hear a little pre-mute before each chord, string mutes. Basically hit like three strings in there. Again, then the D doesn't do that. Back to the G, mute, and then mute chord chord. And then you repeat from the double dots. You don't have to do the... That's only done one time. Even though it's written as part of section 1A, it only does it on the beginning. All right. So that whole section will go four times. I'm going to do one time. Where that last one is. Two hits on that G. Um, section 1B, 34 seconds in. Now, this is still part of the verse. It's that D chord, the same one you were doing. And then G twice, and play all that three times. It sounds like this. Cool part here. 2E, let it ring as you play open D and G. And I like to pick down, down, up on that. So we have. I don't know why I messed with it. It was in tune. Same thing on the third fret, low E. And then three pull open on the A. So if you're pulling off, it means you're picking and you're snapping. Get a good snap. Because that's what's going to create your volume, right? A weak pull-off will put a dip in your volume. So then you're right back to repeat section 1A one time from the star. Then, now it's out. The next thing you'll come across... By the way, yeah, no, uh, hold on here. Section 1A from the star. Um, 52 seconds in, you're going to hit the C chord. It's 3A, and then the barred 5th fret D, G, and B. Now, you can use your 3rd finger or your pinky. Some people even do this, but most people don't. It's a lot of work. If you can achieve it with a secondary bar, you're good. It's a dotted half note. In music, that means it gets a 3 count. One, two, three, and then hit the three E by itself. Come right back to that C power chord, and then it's a whole note. That means you're going to count to four. So it's one, two, three, change. One, two, three, four. Full D major, two, three, two, open from the bottom up. This is a three count, so a dotted half note. One. Z. Let's 
strum it. One, two, three, and then an A5 power chord. Open A to D. Then right back to the D, you'll go down. One, two, three, four. It's got a ref, so sounds like this. That's it. All right, repeats at 58 seconds in, section 1A one time from the star up to that asterisk symbol. Like you'll, <clears throat> won't play anything under that and past it. Instead, he goes, open 3-4 on the low E. In other words, let me play that for 58 seconds. Then you hit a bunch of repeats at a minute nine in. You're right back to section one, two times from the star. There's a secondary guitar that just does this. Open A and 2D, just an A5 power chord, palm muted through the whole thing. As the... is going on. So if you want, you can do that one time and then jump to the section 1A. Play that, however you want to do it. The next new part is section 1D. I think this is the last part as far as rhythmically in the song. Um, and it's an A major, open A, second fret, D, G, and B. So most players like to bar that as opposed to use three fingers. It's your call. Um, but you'll probably in the long run end up barring anyways. So you could take your thumb and mute low E in case you're worried about hitting it. But we're going to strum... And then go to the rock G two times. There's no breaks in this section. It goes. It goes. Wow. Should be good. Um, so I want you to hear that this is the only rhythm that's not going. Now it's A, G, G, D, G, 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 A. And then I gotta switch to page three. Uh, G, rest, G, G, D. G, D, G, D. So. Repeat all that. So that's your second time. Oh, there is one more rhythm. 206 timestamp we have. Two D, four G, and five B. Just a there's an E chord, really an E power chord. It's like doing this, but two, four, five, and if you want to do it how he is, he's going thumb, index, middle. So tuck the pick away. This is too tough. Don't worry about it. You can still use a pick, but go. And there's two guitars here. I had to pick one. So thumb does the D, index G, middle B. And I got them placed like this. Don't try to go all straight. That's crazy. It, you got to work to do that. It's more of a natural thing. Thumb's going to do the, the strum down. These will pluck. You'll be underneath the strings, plucking them upwards. So think of it as kind of pinching. 
I mean, and the beat is so one, one, two, one, two, three, four, rest, and then hit it again twice, and then pull the two D to an or uh, or hit it again once, then go open on the D with it and hammer to the two, and then strum it twice. So. Lift it for the open and come back down four times. So it's. And then two more hits. Open, right back down four times. And it's from a D. The next part is a solo. Okay. He has a little bit of. I think delay in this solo, if I'm not mistaken, uh, but not in the rhythm. I mean, I'm not hearing any effects um, except here. Actually, no. Yeah, there's there's a little bit of delay on it. I mean, I can. I put a little bit of delay on it. Palm mute open D, 5G, half step bend, that's a one fret bend. Twice. 7D, pull 5, 7 vibrato rest. So like this. So you've got to have two fingers down if you're pulling off, right? Unless you're going to an open string. 5G, long bend, whole step. 8B. Very Angus type solo. 8B bend. Stop. Pick 8 5. And then go 7G. That's a down up. And then 8B bend vibrato rest slide. Okay, then next time step is 224. You're going to go 8E, bend, and then a half bend. So it's being achieved with bends. Up, down, 58EB, bend. So, and then pick vibrato. And then bend, stop, pick. Down, up, down, five on the B, G, seven, D. Vibrato on the 15, A slide. Third fret, low E, slide up to five and then go up. So you'll go, and then a three, A, half bend. And then a five, E. 229 time stamp. Down, up, down, five, seven, A, five, D. And then, yeah, so up, muted D string, down, 7D, pinch harmonic vibrato rest. It's a mouthful, but it's just, oops. Okay, if you can't get the pinch, don't worry about it. Work towards it, but um, it's not the end of the world with the technique like that. 7G bend, and then go 7. Up, down, 5, 7, G, D. Palm muted. And then 7G, vibrato rest. So it's... And then he slides up. Okay, 2G, 7. And you're going to slide to 9. And then an 8B. 10, pull 8. And then 10, vibrato. Eight E half step bend. That's one fret, and then ten B E bend, and then ten eight. So, and then up down eight ten E B. So seven G vibrato. So it's let's see. Top of page four, two thirty six is our. Uh, our timestamp for this, <clears throat> 15B bend, and then hit the 15E, 
and then do it again. And then pre, it's already bent, pick it, release it. And then 13, 14 BG. Oops. And then 15 B, bend, hold, release, pull up to 13. And then 15, pull 13, 15 bend, vibrato. So it's... Mute the G string and then go 13 B. And then 14 G vibrato. Same concept, muted D into 12 G half step bend. 14 D vibrato. Same concept with the muted A into 10 D half step bend. And then this. 12 pull open A, 10 12. Uh, vibrato rest. And then pick it and slide. Nine, uh, 244, timestamp 9, slide 11, G. And then 10, 12, B. Bend, release, pull off to 10. Or half step bend. There it is. 12, 10, 12, bend, release, pull off to 10. 12 pull 10, 12 bend. So you have, let me do all that. Fifteen B bend. Hit the fifteen E. Do that twice. So, it, so yeah. And then hit them both at the same time, and go down up, but bend the fifteen B. Up down again vibrato. So it's do that slow. Sounds cool. And there you have it. Killer song art. Um, so let me know when we're doing some more Rhino Bucket. See ya.